back in 2011, Vertex was not necessarily a very well-known company, but we had big dreams and big ideas. We needed to get medicines to patients. How do we get it faster? We had just come off the approval of our first CF medicine, so there was this energy that was cascading through the organization to be different, to do different, and be innovative. Innovating in manufacturing was the key for success in pharmaceutical development. Pharmaceutical development starts in research, and you develop molecules that you think are going to impact a disease. As the speed to getting into patients increases, the pressure on manufacturing to move as fast as we can move increases. We saw the, the path forward for manufacturing was actually this innovative concept of continuous manufacturing. This is a way to continuously manufacture drug product at a quick speed and supply large volumes of product to the market. We were trying to do something no other pharma company had done before. We were setting the course for what Vertex was going to be in the future. We were looking to be an end-to-end, -end innovative research, development, and commercialization company. And if it makes sense for our strategy, we're willing to invest in it. We had to deliver. Can we build it? Yes. Can we make it run? Yes. Will we be able to make it run in a way that meets the expectations of a pharmaceutical industry? And I think that's where it became very interesting. The pharmaceutical industry has, for decades, used essentially the same processes. Someone from the 1950s could walk into a manufacturing facility of today and completely recognize it. Manufacturing has not changed. The pharma industry was really stuck in this batch paradigm. It takes, on average, the industry 12 years to go from identifying a molecule that hits the target or treats the disease in some way to getting an approval. Batch process is when that quantity of material, that batch, is moved from one process to the other. It's all processed before it moves on to the next step. And then that takes weeks, and you go through that over and over and over again, stopping and testing and making sure you got what you think you got. Each one of those steps takes place in a completely different building or a completely different state or country even. Continuous processes are faster and better for producing large quantities of material. Continuous manufacturing is a scaled down, connected approach to drug product manufacturing. You're running the process through from the beginning when you have a whole bunch of powders to the end when you have a tablet. The material is continuously fed into the beginning of the manufacturing rig, and the finished tablets continuously come out at the end. And it takes the material on the order of an hour, hour and a half, to move through the process. So we have the ability to develop and launch the drug from the same site in a much more efficient and much faster way. When you're developing a batch process, you will typically go through two or three different manufacturing scales. Small scale, using smaller equipment when you're producing small amounts for clinical studies, all the way through to large scale equipment which is used to produce large batches. So one of the benefits of continuous manufacturing is that it has the potential to reduce the process development timeline because you don't have to do those scale-ups. That, to me, is the single clearest example of the benefit of continuous manufacturing. The thing about Vertex that will never change is the dedication to quality. We have the highest standards, and we will never move from that. With continuous, you are basically testing throughout the entire manufacturer, so that at the end, you really know what the quality of the batch is. Every one second, we're collecting about 800 values. When continuous manufacturing was approved, it was actually a phone call from our CEO at the time, and he said, you have a green light to go. At that time, the, the hairs on the back of my neck stood up uh, because I knew we had a long journey ahead of us. There was no time to waste. We were essentially looking to make the impossible possible. There were days that it was really scary, <laughs> and there were setbacks, but there was never a moment where people thought we weren't gonna get there. We had a goal to deliver and many things to achieve. We all knew we were working towards something that 
was incredibly important for not only the company that we worked for, incredibly important for the patients, and incredibly important for the industry in general. Once the continuous manufacturing rig was complete, we left a hole in the side of the manufacturing plant so we could actually drop the rig into its new home. I knew how big it was, but until you see it, you don't have the true concept down. It's in a room with a footprint of about 1,500 square feet, and it's three levels. That entire volume contains all of the equipment that's needed to bring material from individual powders all the way to finished tablets. For the first uh, CF medicine that came rolling off the line, I was there, and so it was a tremendously gratifying moment. I took a picture of the first two tablets with my phone. That was an incredible moment to realize that we had accomplished our goal of, of making sure we delivered the product and making sure we delivered a whole new platform. The enthusiasm and excitement around having the first commercial approval for continuous manufacturing was everything. The people here at Vertex like doing things that are incredibly hard. And we like the challenge, but we also like the reason that we're here. We like doing that because we know it's making an impact. Continuous manufacturing wasn't just about getting the first product to the market. In the long term, this is a beneficial process for us to be able to develop products more quickly. It continues to set the stage to Vertex to innovate both how we discover and develop our medicines. At this point, we have developed three product families which have been commercialized using a continuous manufacturing process. Continuous manufacturing actually enabled our corporate and research strategy moving forward. That ability to develop products and get them to the market more quickly was realized in a big way with our most recent product that went from development and to the market in less than four years. The time that it took through development was the fastest in the industry. To a patient, the reduction in development time is huge. Other pharma companies view Vertex as pretty gutsy. We're really willing to step out there and take a chance on some of these more innovative technologies and see them through. What's good for Vertex is good for the industry. We want to say this is the way that you do continuous manufacturing. Fast, agile, quick. It's the future of the industry. We're just growing. We're growing in disease areas, we're growing in modalities, and we're gonna apply that same fearlessness, patient-first innovation to those modalities, to those different approaches, to the next disease that we are gonna conquer with the same commitments.